Hello guys, welcome to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and from this tutorial onward we are going to start working on the messaging system. But before we start the messaging system or you can say the chat system where we will basically allow friends, okay, not all the users, only friends can exchange messages with each other, okay, that is the private chat system, one-to-one -one chat system using the Firebase database and the Firebase storage using the I mean in Android Studio Android Studio so I was telling about that before we moving to that what we gonna do that is uh, here we have uh, in a previous tutorial as you know that we display all the friends so now we have a friend list okay now the thing which we will be doing in this video tutorial as that is when I click on any profile here that is let's say I click here then this dialog box will appear here okay alert dialogs and there will be two options that is the username profile that is Mohammed Gulshar's profile and the second option will be the send message that is if I click on any other user then uh, her username that is Amon Ford's profile and send message so we will be working on that first so once we do that then we then we will create a chat activity but as I told you the, from the next tutorial we will uh, properly start working on the messaging system using Firebase so in this video we are just doing that okay so yeah go to the end of studio here we have this friends activity in which we will we were working uh, in the class in the previous tutorial so now come down here we have this popular view holder method now inside this popular view holder method here you can see that we have this view holder dot set profile image so we are going to set a click listener on the view so we can say view holder dot m view dot set on click listener new on click listener and this is our on click method so inside that what we're going to do first we are going to create the two options as you see there okay so we can chart sequence and in this way we create the options for the dialog box in android studio this is basically a java language as you know that so we can say equals to new chart sequence and now inside that I mean first we have to write these curly braces and make sure to put a semicolon here and now here we are going to uh, write the options so the first option will be the user's name which we are basically basically getting from the database here if I show you that is this one okay so user name that is when I click here you can see that that user name appears here that is Mohammed Ali shares profile okay so what we're gonna do here after that I can use this concatenation sign that is plus and then write this quotations and inside that we write a single quote then s and then we can say profile so put a comma here and the second option will be the send message so we can say send m e w -S, s a g e message send message so yeah that's it now the next thing is to uh, create a alert dialog okay so for that we can say alert dialog dot builder and let's call this as builder equals to new alert new alert dialog alert, do, alert dialog dot builder and the context is the friends activity so you can say friends f r i e n d e s friends activity dot this make sure to put a semicolon here and then in the next line we can set a title for this dialog alert dialog so you can say dot set title and the title is uh, will be select options select option and then the next thing is that is if a user click on this first option and we will send him to the profile activity of that user and if the user click on the send message option then we will send the user to the chat activity or you can say the message activity which we will be creating soon okay so for that what we're gonna do we can say builder dot set items options comma new dialog interface dot set on click uh, is dot on click list okay so make sure to put a semicolon here and now inside this on click we can say if and using this which in type variable it is basically pointing to these options okay so currently we have two options so one is the profile 
the user profile and the second one is the send message so this is the position or you can say uh, this will the first one will point to this one and this one so this is the zero position and this is the one so we can say which becomes equals to zero then what we gonna do and then for the send message we can say if which become equals to one then what we will do so if which becomes equals to zero then we will send the user to the profile activity of that user that is if i click here then we will send the user if i click here then uh, i will be redirected to that user account which is muhammad ali share profile sorry it is this one okay and if i click here that is muhammad good shares profile i mean on any profile if you click then we have two options either to go to uh, their profile page or to send this uh, person a uh, message so yeah that's it so here we can create a simple intent for sending the user to the user profile so we can say intent and let's call it a so profile intent equals to new intent and we are on the friends activity so we can say friends activity dot this and we are going to send the user to the profile person profile activity basically person profile activity dot class so yeah that's it make sure to put a semicolon here and then in the next line we can say start activity for the profile intent but one thing which we will be sending to the person profile activity if i go here to the person profile activity then here you can see that it here we basically need the receiver id which we are retaining as visitor user id so we are going to send that id to that okay that is if i click here on any profile then each of these profile have their unique id okay so for doing that what we're going to do here here we can say profile intent dot put extra and here you can write this quotation and make sure to use the sam name which you wrote here okay which is wizard underscore user underscore id if it is not sam then your app will crash definitely try it if you don't believe me and the id is stored here as you know that uh, here when we say that is string user ids okay so pass that here so you can say users ids so yeah that's it and if the position is one if which becomes equals to one then we will copy that paste that here and we will change it for the chat activity but first before we do that uh, we need a we need to create here a chat activity so click here and activity empty activity and the name of our this activity will be let's call it as chat activity so finish so you can see that our chat activity is launched successfully okay for now we will leave this activity as it is as i told you uh, from the next tutorial we are going to properly start working on the chat system where two friends will be able to send message to each other just like you guys see in other social networking sites like facebook twitter and instagram so yeah from the next video we will start working on that but for now we have to complete this alert dialogue okay so now let's come here and instead of calling it the profile intent as you know this is the position one we can say uh, the chat intent so this is our chat intent now and here we are going to send the user to the chat activity which we created now okay and instead of profile intent this is our chat intent and chat intent and here we also need the visitor user id that is let's say if i click on this uh, ml4 profile it says send message okay so this will be basically the receiver of my message okay this beautiful girl will be the receiver of my message and i will show to you guys in the upcoming tutorials i will send messages to this beautiful girl in the upcoming video tutorials so stay tuned for that okay so now we are we complete this here now the next thing is uh let me check this first yeah everything is okay here and now let's go to the main activity now so on the main here all you need to call this method which is send user to friends activity for the messages option that is if the user 
click here on this message option then we are going to call this method which is send user to friends activity friends activity okay for now we will send the user to the friends activity and for from there basically the user will select two option to send message and uh, to visit the profile but in uh, i mean in the upcoming video tutorials once we complete the chat system then we will update this option okay when user click on this message then here we will display only those messages that is to whom we talked for the last time okay so we will do it in the upcoming video tutorials but for now uh, here uh, when we I mean this nav messages options all you need is to uh, call this method which is send user to friends activity and if I show you this method then this method basically send the user to the friends activity okay you can see that so yeah that's it uh, now uh, as I told you from the next video we will uh, properly start work on the chatting system okay so yeah let's run our app to see if it is working or not so our app is running now successfully and now let's go to the friends and these are our friend list this is our friend list and now let's click on Mohammed Gul share so the dialog box is not appearing here and we forgot to write here go to the friends activity back and here when we complete this that is if which becomes equals to one then here you can see the semicolon after this semicolon make sure to write builder dot show okay make sure to write this and then now let's run our app again so our app is running now successfully and now let's go to the friend list click on friends and this is our friend list now if i click on mohammed gulshar account you can see that mohammed gulshar profile and the send message now if i click on any other account that is you can see that mohammed Awas profile and send message if i click on mohammed ali share then it is saying that is mohammed ali shares profile and send message if i click on this first options it sends us to the profile of that user which is mohammed ali share and we can see information about that specific user now the second option is if i click on send message then it will send me to the chat activity and as i told you from the next video tutorial we will properly start working on this i mean on the chat system using uh, firebase database firebase storage and uh, we will allow the user to exchange text messages and files or you can say the images between two friends i mean two friends will be able to ex exchange messages uh, with each other so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video we will properly start working on that so if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel thumbs up for this video and yeah see you guys in the next video bye for now and one thing which i will say is uh, take care of yourself of course